morning, everybody. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I got a call from a rancher that I hunt for, and uh, he's got some people that live on the north side of the ranch, not actually on the ranch, but across the property line. And they've been calling him, and he's they've been having some problems with the coyotes coming in their yard, bothering their dogs, keeping them up at night, taking their cats. Uh, I called the particular resident that was having the most problems and he invited me out. I went out and I talked to him. Uh, he showed me where he thought they were coming from. And I went out and set up facing south. You'll see in the video I was facing south. Uh, there's houses and barns everywhere. Uh, had our straight north wind. I had to pick and choose my my shooting lane. But uh, two minutes into it, I had a 38, I'm guessing a 38 pound male. I didn't weigh him, but he was probably the biggest male I've shot this year. A female came in a couple minutes after he did. Uh, she didn't get near as close. She winded him. She winded me. And uh, she started out. I barked and I jerked the trigger and missed her. But uh, I'm hoping that helped him out some. And I'll go back and get the rest of them later. Uh, I did this video of the, of the surrounding area to show you what's going on. This is a canyon that faces kind of east. Now we're in the northeast. There's a water tower in the background. The city is, the city is on this, the south end of the city. Uh, that's a landfill. This is a draw that separates where I'm at in that city. This is a gentleman's house that was having the most problems. Uh, houses everywhere. It's kind of a, a canyon view type residential area. That's his horse pin pick up. Now we're facing uh, west. And uh, when I swung around, I'd only been there long enough to turn this camera on and do this right here. And uh, you'll see right here as I, I pull around, there's another barn. This is the shooting lane that I have, and that's just about it. But uh, there's the big man. This is the female, uh, he's just to her left, the one I shot first. Uh, she wasn't going to hang around, she would already winded us, she already figured it out. She was leaving, but not in a big hurry, I got her stopped during the trigger. Howler. Wasn't liking any of the whimpers on the Reese Howler either. I got him to come a little closer with the, the e collar and baby cottontail. He wasn't having any of it. He, I guess he came to about about 200 and he stopped. And I think he was looking at me or the pickup. There's not really any place to hide out here. The lights off the houses and the barns are kind of got us lit up, but it worked out well. I missed the female, as you'll see on the video. Uh, but we got one of the problems. Yeah, I took this male back up there to the house and let him see what part of his problem used to be. And uh, I really appreciate him for letting me come out. And uh, appreciate y'all for watching and. 
and there will be some more.